Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel What is Manoj Roy. Today we are doing the sketch of absolute valued linear function. Linear function means we should have the equation like this in the modulus and mx plus c form. Not the quadratic, not the cubic, only the linear equation. Okay. Actually in the linear equation when we have the modulus sign, the shape is always the v-shape graph. v-shape sketch. v-shape means it can be like this or it can be like this. So for like this type of uh, sketch we have for this function. I would like to take one example with the explanation of the sketch. f of x is like x equals to with the modulus x minus 1 and plus 3 is outside and the domain is from minus 2 to 3. I need to draw the sketch. I need the sketch of this function. Okay, how we can do the sketch? Very simple. Step number one is we like we have V shape graph, so we always find the step number one find vertex. Find vertex means the vertex is called V shape. This is called the vertex, the corner. So we always find the vertex. And how we find the vertex? Vertex we can find mx plus c should be equal to zero. So here, step number one is what I will do. Step number one, this x minus one only, not the whole equation, please. Not the whole equation with plus three, no. x minus one equal to zero, and x minus one equal to zero, and x is equals to one. Okay, now x is one, I put this value in the given equation. So f of x, which is y, is equals to, I put one here now, this one, 1 minus 1 is coming 0, so it's coming 3. So the coordinate or the vertex are 1, comma 3. So we got the first thing. Step number 2, like we have very simple step here, like in step number 2, is from the given domain, from the given domain, find minimum and maximum. From the given domain, like domain we have here, minus 2, 2, 3, from the given domain, you can find the maximum and minimum value of y. Maximum and minimum value of y. Means we need two more coordinates when we can do. When domain is not given, we have a very simple way to do. That is a different case. Now, when I substitute minus 2, the minus 2 means step number 2 is here. x, I will substitute minus 2 and x, I will substitute 3. So when I substitute minus 2, f of minus 2 is coming here, minus 2 and minus 1 and plus 3, we can have minus 3. Uh, I told you whenever we open this modulus sign, this will become positive. The numerical value is positive. So 3 plus 3 is 6. So the coordinates are minus 2, comma 6. Second one, when we find the coordinate of this part, f of 3 is coming 3 minus 1 plus 3 and 3 minus 1 is 2 plus 1, 3 is 5. So the coordinates are 3 comma 5. So now we just need to draw the sketch and remember we have V-shape graph. To have the sketch of like uh, this modulus function, please do not label the whole diagram. What you need actually just label that point. For example, this is x-axis, this is y-axis. This is important. Uh, the minimum value 1, 3, x is minus 2 and 3. Okay, minimum is minus 2, x is minus 2. I can write x is minus 2 here, the minimum value. And the maximum x is uh, 3. So we can write as the domain is given. You can check in the domain. The domain is given. And the y is 3, 6, and 5. 3, 6, and 5 means maximum value of y is, I'm just writing only 6. Okay, now what we can do here, if you want, you can write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Little bit up. 6. Now, the sketch is very simple. Where is the vertex? Vertex is... 1 and 3, 1 and 3, like x is 1 and 3 is here. I will write this, this coordinate first, 1, 3. 
then minus 2 and 6 minus 2 and 6 is coming here and 3 and 5 is coming 3 and 5 is coming here so this is the coordinate and when we join this it's a V shape graph and we have done it very simple way to find so by this way we have done the sketch of the absolute value of linear function I hope this video is useful for you. If you think yes, please like my video, subscribe my channel. And once again, thank you so much and have a nice day.